Well, it's going to be a warm opener for deer hunters this weekend. 70 degrees on a Saturday in November is unusual, but not unheard of. Yeah, it was nearly that warm for the 2016 opener as well. The DNR says deer numbers are up this year, and so are the number of hunters. John Lordson shows us how they're getting ready. I'm here to get my uh, hunting license for this opener. I am excited to be out in the woods. Instead of freezing this weekend, many hunters will be sweating. A November heat wave means you'll see more orange t-shirts in the woods. High 60s and 70 degrees. I think a lot of people are going to be out there. Capra Sporting Goods in Blaine is seeing a record year for gun sales. A year ago, they were selling 10 guns a day. Now they're selling 25 or more. And because of COVID, there's been an ammunition shortage. From Remington, we used to sell 1,000 boxes of one slug for a 20-gauge Sabbath. We got 45 boxes of it this year, not a thousand. Store manager Jerry Riggy says he's even given some of his own ammunition to kids that want to try the sport but can't find slugs. For families that do get out, there's a lot to look forward to. This is my dad and my grandpa, so three generations of hunters right here. Tanner Lamott has been gone, serving his country overseas. So this year will be different in a good way. He's inheriting my 30 out six. That was my dad's at one time. It's, it's a big it's honor. A lot of, a lot of woods. That, that a lot, a lot of stories this thing could tell. Yep. It's, a, it's an honor that it's uh, now mine. And for the Lamotts, honor and tradition are even more important than begging a trophy box. This is all about playing cards and eating yep. like kings. In Blaine, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. If you do shoot a deer, the DNR recommends getting the meat into a cooler quickly because of the heat. They also recommend that you call ahead to a meat processor because some of them are really backed up because of COVID this year.